Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and today is the day where we have the update uh, which is the cumulative update preview for Windows 11 and uh, this is of course for Windows 11 22H2 that gets the um, September 2023 update. So this is the moment four that starts rolling out now. It has bug fixes for Windows, and it has, of course, uh, some of the um, new features that are slowly rolling out. Not everybody has every feature. That's also something to understand, but um, it is part of what uh, will be moment four, and uh, of course, called the uh, also the September 2023 update. So uh, first of all, if you're on Windows 11 and you're on 21H2, you got KB5030301 that rolled out. And that pushed your Windows version to 22000.2482. You get the bug fixes. These are the last bug fixes that you're getting because uh, you're getting the last patch Tuesday updates in October. After that, your end of support. So. Uh, this is, of course, the same, pretty much the same list as we'll talk about here in uh, the version uh, 22H2 for the number of uh, features um, or fixes in there. So uh, if we talk strictly fixes, also in Windows 11 22H2, uh, you are actually getting um, the KB503 zero three one zero the one you see here cumulative update preview and uh, I know that there was I think a cumulative update preview for .NET framework this brings your build of Windows 11 version 22h2 to 22.621.2361 so this is the uh, latest for Windows um, 11 22h2 so uh, what it fixes, a few things of note. Um, if you had Microsoft Excel that was stopping responding if you tried to share files as a PDF in Outlook. Um, one that affects touch keyboard that sometimes was not always popping up uh, from uh, the, the, um, t the uh, taskbar at the bottom. So sometimes the, the, uh, the pop-up uh, keyboard was not there. There's also uh, some issues where a search button uh, disappears when you interact with a search flyout box, which is fixed. Also, a blank window that appears um, that has the title Windows Input Experience uh, when you actually come back from sleep mode. There's some update for printers that um, sometimes stop printing and it is due apparently to the windows defender app so these are a few of the things there any other thing of note here that i can check out um some elements not aligned correctly with some of third-party apps so that's one of the problems uh windows uh, stop responding message that it might occur if you use microsoft onedrive files that are compressed by ntfs and um, pretty much uh, all of that uh, is what uh, is the major concerns here. There is a, quite a good list of fixes in here. And of course, we start to have the rollout of the moment four. So that means you might not have much right now. You might start seeing things right now, um, including Copilot. But we're going to talk about these features. Uh, one of the things that you could do when you're in Windows Update, if you wish to have them now, is to turn on get the latest updates as soon as they're available here. When you turn this on, that could turn on some moment for features you don't see. And of course, all of that will be pushed in October with the October update. And that's going to be interesting to see um, a little more. So uh, that's what you have. The uh, famous Moment 4 or September 2023 update is starting to roll out. It's an optional update for now. Will be pushed 
uh, to everyone with the Patch Tuesday update on October the 10th, I believe. So uh, it's rolling out to Windows 11 22H2. And for 21H2, it's simply a bug fixing update and uh, your last because you're getting your last patch Tuesday in October. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.